Okay, today's project, or this weekend's project, is to build a rainwater collection system. I've got my barrels, and I'm going to collect the water off of my shed to water my garden. It's only half the garden. I didn't have enough time this year for planting season to get the other half in, but basically this section is going to be the same as this section, just a mirror image. But to water this, I can either drag a hose, which I have been doing, from the house out here or collect rainwater off my shed and pump it to my garden. Um, I have a couple solar panels, uh, Harbor Freight solar panels, that I'm going to put up top here. Put a uh, deep cycle battery inside and a uh, on-demand pump. Put a spigot on the side of the shed and um, as long as I have water collected in my rain barrels, the system should give me water to be able to plant my garden. Uh, keep my garden running in the hot weather. Uh, that's the plan. The barrels are going to go here on this side. I've already dug two holes for uh, some posts to go in. Basically it's just going to be a, uh, a deck and then the barrels are going to sit on top of it. Um, the method that I'm going to use for collecting the rainwater and the way that the barrels are going to get uh, filled and let the water out might be a little different than what people have, have seen on the internet before. Um, this obviously fits all together and makes one nice neat little uh, reducer. But there's like one, two, three, four, five five parts in that and I don't like that idea. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, probably just going with this piping because it screws directly into the uh, into the barrel and use whatever that is, I believe it's two and a half inch PVC to connect my barrels. Um, and then I see people, which I'm not quite sure why, they go and uh, they create this elaborate air system um, to let air in. When you put water in, air is going to come out, and when you take water, air is going to go in. So, my thought is to just come up with a quick and easy way to put a hole in here with a screen. you got to keep the mosquitoes out, so you got to put some sort of screening in here. But if I do this on each barrel, then I don't have to connect this barrel with some elaborate venting system. Each barrel itself will be vented, and... Uh, with this system that I plan on using, um, I'm not going to cut any holes into the barrels. The barrels are going to lay down, not stand up like this. They're going to lay, they're going to lay down this way, and I'll put a slight angle to them because of the lips and the way I'm going to have the, uh, the what you call it. So it should be a, a slight, a slight pitch to them downward, so that most of the water will end up here. Um, obviously, you can't get all most of the, yeah most of the water will end up here. Um, obviously, you can't get all of the water out of the barrel, no matter what system you use, unless you uh, put the spigot at the bottom of the barrel, which that eh, doesn't sound. I mean, that may be fine, but it's not what I'm doing. Um, I would just rather not drill holes into the barrels or drill the cap. Well, I will end up drilling this cap, but um, no, that's my plan. We'll see how it works. Um, right now, the project for the, the day is to get uh, some 4x4s into the ground, into these holes, and some cement poured. Shadowy, you can't see the pole. Um, at the moment, what I'm contemplating is whether I want to put, I got one hole here is whether I want to dig another hole there or connect it straight to the shed. Um, I gotta take some measurements to figure out where my studs are in the shed to put a, a, a plate, a wooden plate across this way and then I can run uh, stringers across to create the deck. 
Um, supposedly it's eight pounds per gallon. They're 55 gallon drums, so they're going to be 440 pounds a piece times four. It's uh, 1,760 pounds on that deck. So I got to make sure that it, uh, it's whatever I build to hold them is going to hold them well. Um, I got two by ten pressure treated and four by fours. But uh, my concern is not with the front of it, it's with the back of it. So I got to figure that out. And, and uh, I guess in about two seconds you're going to find out what I did. Okay. All right. Progress so far. I got the 4x4s uh, the four fours in for the edges. Uh, they've been cemented in. So those are going to have to set up before I can start to uh, mess around with them. I believe I'm going to just lag one of the 2x10s against the uh, the shed. There's enough 2x4s in there. I put them 16 inches on center. So I'm going to just pick up some lag bolts and lag it up against that. And I think that should be good. Um, not sure about bracing coming this way. Uh, I know my design was just for a couple of them to... Uh, to run this way but I'm thinking I need something to run this way too inside there we'll see I can uh, set up the frame first and check it out see how much uh, flex there is in there who knows I may have to stick another 4x4 post in the middle here whether it sits out on the front or in the center I don't know um, my wife always says I way overbuild things so I might be overthinking this I don't know what the uh, strength is of a 2x10. Um, it's about an 8-foot span. I would assume it's it's got to be a couple thousand pounds, so I should be just fine, but like I say, I always overbuild, so we'll see. Okay, so what's going on now is the posts are in. They're secured. They're not cut to the right height. I wait until I get everything level. It makes it easier. Um, the 2x10s you see in the back against the shed are getting lagged in. That one's lagged in already. That one's getting lagged in. The board up there is just my board I use for a long level. Um, my eyeballs aren't as good as they are, especially when the ground's not level. So I actually use a level, make sure that they're level. I don't really want the barrels rolling, although they will be braced. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. They're going to get lagged in. And side pieces are coming over and long pieces are going across. And uh, You'll see it in a bit. Okay, I got it uh, sort of framed out. I'm short some lag bolts. Um, that cross brace in the back is just uh, drywall screwed in at the moment. Make sure everything was going to look and work right. And pick up some lag bolts and uh, drop them in. That's the framework. It's going to hold it. I hope. It should. Everything's nice and strong. I stood on it, jumped up and down, didn't wiggle. I mean, it wiggled side to side because there's no bracing in between, but it didn't wiggle up and down. But. That's the way it's going to be. I'll get the other four buckets up here in a second to show you what that looks like, the barrels. Well, that's the four barrels up there. I think it looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to do the plumbing tonight. Save that for tomorrow. It's been a long day. Maybe I'll take a ride out and get those other lag bolts. But that's where I'm at. Okay. The importance of remembering things. Um, when I put the system together, I didn't have enough lag bolts. Um, that board that you see laying down there was sitting up here 
and I had temporar temporarily installed it with a couple drywall screws. And my uh, my thing was to remember to buy some more lag bolts to put in there. And I was going to do that when I picked up more things to finish the gutter system. Now, one thing led to another, and I never got around to that kind of sidetracked with other projects, so the gutters didn't get put in for, well, maybe a month later. And uh, yesterday, we had uh, a good solid day's worth of rain. And uh, halfway through the day, I'm in the house just doing something else. And all of a sudden, I heard this boom. And I look out here, and this is what I see. The second I saw it, I remembered. I forgot the lag bolts for the other boards. So, my problem now is that the two outer barrels should be easy. Because as they fell, obviously they pretty much emptied themselves through the hole that the rainwater was coming in. The problem is the two center barrels don't have those holes. Their vent holes are sitting up here in those. So, these two center barrels are probably pretty much full. I have to figure out how I'm going to make this right. Obviously lag bolts, um, but for the moment I gotta figure out how to empty these barrels. It's pretty interesting too that uh, this let go. Obviously I just let go. I obviously didn't make a, a good enough joint there. I'm not quite sure why or just sheer pressure of the barrels letting go. But uh, yeah, once I get it fixed, I'll, uh, I'll be back. Okay, so here's the rain barrel system fixed. I uh, got the lag bolts in down there. I also, on the advice of somebody who works construction, uh, a friend of mine said to put hangers in. Really can't see the hangers, but they're there. Well, that one you could probably see. So, along with the lag bolts, I have hangers now. Uh, it should easily hold the weight of what's going to come. And uh, hopefully it won't collapse. We'll see when it fills. Weather report's got off and on showers for the next uh, four or five days so right now they're pretty empty they uh, finished the gutter system so that's routing easiest thing I was gonna hard pipe it down but I saw these collapsible flexible tubes and said well that solves my problem pretty simple pretty easily and there it is uh, gutters just come off the shed down they go